Welcome to this Let's Talk Machines tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this week's video, we're looking at creation of quads when using either the Jelani or Advancing Front unstructured domain algorithms in Pointwise. When the unstructured domain solver uses either of these algorithms, in conjunction with the triangles and quads option, the generation of quad dominant domains involves two steps. First, the domain is triangulated, and second, the triangular cells are combined to form quadrilateral cells wherever possible. The quads frame, located beneath the attributes tab of the solve panel, includes a couple of useful parameters for controlling whether pointwise combines triangular cells into quadrilaterals when creating an unstructured quad dominant domain. Users will also find these same parameters within the defaults panel after expanding the unstructured domains and isotropic frames. Quad max included angle lets you specify the maximum included interior angle allowed for quadrilateral cells. This parameter prevents the combination of triangular cells if the included angle of the final quadrilateral cell is larger than the specified value. We typically recommend setting this to a value of at least 150 degrees for your surface domains when using T-Rex to advance tetrahedra from these types of domains. Quad max warp angle lets you specify the maximum warpage allowed for quadrilateral cells. Recall that warp angle is the angle measured between the normals of two adjacent triangular cells, and the angle measured between two perfectly flat cells would be zero degrees. That is, the normals would be collinear. In areas where you have highly curved surface domains, you would expect the angle between constituent normals to be greater. This parameter, again, is a preventative measure for combining triangular cells if the warpage of the final quadrilateral cell is larger than the specified value. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.